One month ago, I went to Europa Park for my first ever trip, which was amazing. Then in June, I went to Leesburg for another fantastic trip. However, now I am going to go on my biggest adventure yet. It is going to be wildly exciting, wildly amazing, and wildly exciting. I'm going to Drayton Manor! Yes. No, but seriously, it's a park I've been wanting to go to for. Are we doing? How does it feel to be in the magical world of Drayton Manor Park? It feels amazing. It feels like I've never left. It feels like I wish I'd left and never come back. Well, this may be the best park I get to visit now with the way things have gone, but we will leave that there. We are here to visit theme parks, not leave the EU. Doing the golden nugget wide, which will be great fun. James, what do you think of this uh, epic looking attraction? Um, I think it's it's definitely, uh, it's definitely one of the best 2,000 rides in the UK. Ooh, that's a bonus! Well done, man, you beat us all. What an amazing ride that was. Truly immersive. And truly spectacular, up to date modern effects. Better than Team Blaster. Well, it kind of is if you think about it. Queuing uh, for Ben 10, which could be the best coach to it. Good. Any other place here? Pizza Bingo. We are queuing for this amazing ride, James. Yes, the crashy boat ride. Yes. I'd send the boat out to the island. I'd send the boat out to the island. We're going to do the rapids now, canyon rapid things, because the park's so busy today. Literally, there is five million school kids around there, so we're doing uh, this. Well, this is a very creative queue line. I like this a lot. Very adds to this experience. We have just been on the best ever set of rapids. They were, they were alright. James, how were these amazing rapids? Amazing. That was an experience, that wasn't it? Did you like that? Very immersive that was. Well, that's not the best we are now in Thomas Land. What a happy place this is. Sheep in Wales. Welcome aboard. It's all oh, I'm Winston. Yay. Nice to meet you. I'm the bank controller's track inspection car. It's Ooh. late. Everyone is on track and on time. <laughs> What's an amazing attraction that was, absolutely fantastic. You know, that's obviously in my top 10 of non coaster rides. How was that, James? Um, it's in my top 10. <laughs> We're going to be flying out. And flying around. Wow. Uh, race was actually quite good. I, I, I really liked it. It was sort of really funny. It was not as scary as I was expecting it to be. It's sort of fun how you go round it like and around and around and around. The changes direction goes around and around and around. Also joined now by uh, Dan and David. Hello. And this guy is going to my uh, third European trip of the year. It hopefully won't be my last European trip for a while. Yeah, I'm sorry, um, to Fantasia Land. Yeah. But that's for another time. I've spilt the beans now, but for Tower. We're going to be out there for two months after Tower opens. We are now doing Storm Force 10, which could be the best log film in the UK now because most of the log films in the UK are closing down. So, we're going. All right, I just came off Storm Force 10 and I am a little bit drenched. The thing is, I wore a poncho as well. My arm is still messed up. The trousers are How was that, David? 
I really enjoyed the ride, but uh, I'm a little saturated to say the least. Yeah, and uh, Toblerone didn't save you that time. I'm even going to get some food now, going to get some grilling. You're going to get a good grilling down. Because you didn't bring any Toblerone. Grilling. 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 We all up for a good grilling. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've been here. This looks okay. It's like a, it's like a nice little pub place. But I still haven't done any coasters at this park. I know, shocking. It's like I might have to come back here just for the creds in the near future. It's like, after all these years of me wanting to go to in Manor, just for the creds, and I haven't been on any creds yet. Shocker. I need to sort it out. Oh, look at this burger. Looks all right. Let's see what it's like to eat. And you've got a wrap, David. Yeah, with a few chips. Oh, um, chicken. Cheese. Yeah. We need to do it. Otherwise, it's just gonna. We're now going to do the haunting. I hope. Yeah, I've heard this ride has some improvements this year, so we can only hope that's the case. Done the haunting, and I'm gonna make a bit of a statement here that it's probably the best ride I've done at Drayton Manor so far. Um, I know this ride used to be terrible, I've done some improvements to it, I never did the old one anyway, but I like the effects I did in there. You know, it was a very good um, ride, it reminded me quite a bit of uh, Ches Summer's uh, containment a little bit, the pre show bit. Um, but I really enjoyed it, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. David, how was that for you? Yeah, I quite, I quite enjoyed it to be honest. I thought. Um... Yeah, it's quite a good, good effects and stuff. Does it meet your Toblerone expectations, Dan? Yeah, I'd put it on par with Fair Volatile and Yeah, I would probably say that, I don't know, it's probably my third favourite. It's probably Hex first, which is close. So that kind of is already ruled out, because Hex is close. And then after that, I would have to say Villa Volta Efteling, and then that. You know, it was quite a good. Uh... This is my first coast of the day. No joke, actual first coaster of the day. I know, it's crazy. Been on Shockwave um, and one of the um I think of the name now. We have just done Maelstrom. That was a really, really good ride. Absolutely enjoyed it a lot. Great. Um, it was really, I love the outside bits. How was it, James? I preferred the inside bits. Mike, how was Maelstrom? It was awesome. We're now going to go and do G-Force. I'll stand what you thought. I'll stand. Does it get your Toblerone expectations? <laughs> yeah, because he won Toblerone at Leesburg. That's going to be his thing now for all these vlogs. Toblerone. Toblerone is life. Walk on. Just done G-Force. It was okay. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. 
it, it was quite forgettable, if I'm openly honest. Um, so it's, it's just very neutral to the love or hate thing. Dan, how was it? David? It was okay, Matt. I've, I've been on better. Except... No, I, I thought I wasn't terrible. It just wasn't brilliant at the same time. Now I think we're going to do the shockwave. My first ever stand-up coaster, so I hope this isn't too bad. Shockwave now. Am I going to be shocked by the waves? I really don't think so, but we'll see. This is atmospheric. It feels very immersive. Look at the immersiveness, Dan. Isn't it immersive? Yeah. It's like being back at your wave of heart. <laughs> we really haven't got much to be cute either. Done the shockwave. I did not expect to like that, but I actually found it all right. I mean, getting out of it was a bit awkward, but the actual experience was not as bad as I expected. Um, so I would say over G-Force and that, I would prefer Shockwave. At least for the moment. Um, David, how was Shockwave? Um, I prefer Shockwave to G-Force, and yeah, it's a different experience because it's a stand-up yeah. coaster. Now we need to go and get creds, get tops and trucks, because we need creds. I have just done the troublesome trucks. Um, very good kiddie quid actually. Um, do I prefer that or Octonauts? Um, I might say Octonauts, just because of that water feature and that tight corner bit. That was a really good uh, kiddie coaster, you know. I really enjoyed that, that, that was great fun. Um, great for a park like Drayton Manor. So far, thoughts on the park, you know, Drayton Manor is not a bad park. I don't know whether I'm gonna rush back after doing this, at least until they get something major and cool. Get us a map coaster, please. Um, but, um, it's, um, not a bad place. I mean, Thomas Dan's a very nice themed family area, you know. This doesn't look too bad. The theming's hit and miss in places. Storm Force 10 was quite well themed, but I have found most other areas aren't themed too great, but it's all looking quite good so far. Um, now we're gonna do Buffalo. Buffalo Soldier. You're a Buffalo Soldier, Dan. Is he a Buffalo Soldier, David? He is, yeah. Yep. Now we need to soldier on to Buffalo to get this last cred of the trip. The day has come to an end. We must leave, like many things in life. But no, Drayton Manor is over for now. Will we be back here again? It's difficult to say. We could return, we could remain, but for now, we will leave. Highlight for me has to be, quite possibly, Maelstrom, with the honourable mentions being Ben 10 and Apocalypse. Apocalypse, by the way, was really good. David, how was Dorothy Manor? Yeah, it was okay. I've been to better parks, but I enjoyed Apocalypse and uh, Shockwave was okay as well. Okay. And what would have to be your highlights? Um, Apocalypse. Did you try it? Yeah, earlier on. Ooh! Lucky you. I thought Because the thing is, I got the last word of the day. Dan, did you try Apocalypse? Yeah, I did. And what was your favourite ride today? Best favourite, jump towers and What was your favourite part of today? My favourite part was Maelstrom and Shockwave. Merchandise wise, there's not much merchandise here. I mean, if you're into Ben 10 or Cartoon Network, there's, there's quite a lot here. You've got uh, Adventure Time. All the Adventure Time fans, you've got some minions for you, minions fans. Star Wars with you. Star Wars fans and various other things. There's a diner place in there which is closed. Thunder Cats. They must have rebooted it. And you've got an almost empty uh, drinks fridge thing with great amount of branded stuff. So, there's a fair bit. I will be back here at some point, but who knows when. Until then. It is time to leave.
Would you consider it a second home? No, I wouldn't. I think I don't have a second home because I can't afford it.